Hey everybody, welcome to another Goody Reader exclusive video tutorial. My name is Marcus. Today I'm going to teach you how to borrow ebooks from the library using your Barnes & Noble Nook tablet. This is the latest uh, generation device from Barnes & Noble. There's a few things you need to know before you get started. Uh, first of all, you need Adobe Digital Editions. This is a free download and this mainly facilitates uh, copying purchased content or borrowed library books uh, from your computer to your device and these are books of course that have digital rights management Overdrive is uh, the most popular library software that over 20,000 different libraries in the US and Canada use this tutorial from beginning to end will show you the entire process of looking for books, checking them out, downloading them to your computer, and then transferring them to your device. And along the way, we'll share some tips with you. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to the OverDrive lending page. And this is library2go.lib.overdrive.com. You'll need to select your state. We've selected our state as Oregon. And then we want to log into the service and begin searching for ebooks. Now, of course, our Barnes Noble Nook tablet is plugged into our computer with the USB cable that came with it. So you want to make sure that you have the cable and your device plugged into your computer. And when you download Adobe Digital Editions, you want to make sure that you uh, register your device and then it shows up here as my nook or however else you named it. So to get started, we need to log in. So we've already selected our state and now it's time to select our library. You can see in Oregon, there are a number of libraries to choose from here. We're going to select this one. We are going to use our card number and then our secret four digit pin number. If you want to get this information and maybe don't have it, first of all, you have to make sure that your local branch uses OverDrive. Um, and then, you know, if you're already a library member, they'll simply provide the PIN number for you. If you're not a member, all you really have to do is bring in a piece of mail with your address and you can get going. So I'm going to log in. And this is the first menu that you see. Your to-go card basically is your shopping cart. All the books that you want to check out will be added here. You can uh, check and establish your lending periods. So if you want an Adobe EPUB book, you can either set it for 7, 14, or 21 days and then save it here. We just mainly have the defaults. Uh, my checkouts will give you a list of books that you have uh, checked out in the past the date that you checked it out, uh, the date the book expires. If you're looking for a book and the library has it but doesn't have it in stock, like there's people that have checked out the book and there's a waiting list, you can put a hold on it so you can put yourself in queue uh, to borrow a book. Most of the times bestsellers or books by famous authors uh, do have a bit of a hold list. You can also add books to your wish list and check out title ratings. So let's uh, check out the main home screen here and uh, just click on uh, a random book. My teacher is an alien. You see publisher, the genres. This book is available in Adobe EPUB format. And incidentally, the Barnes & Noble Nook tablet, its primary format to read ebooks is EPUB. Let's do some searching. I maybe don't want to rent this book. I kind of want to see what the library has in stock. So you notice that there's a search field here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Advanced Search. And you can search by title, author, ISBN, and uh, a ton of different formats here. What I'm going to simply do is search for Adobe EPUB eBook. 
and this is searching for all books that are compatible with the Nook tablet as well as official Nook apps. So if you don't have a Nook tablet, but say you have an Apple iPad, you can you can do this. But I recommend that this tutorial is a given that you have a Nook tablet. So this is what you need to do. I'm going to search also for only show titles with copies available. That way when I see a big list I know that everything that I see I have the ability to check out. Sometimes this process uh, takes a few seconds, sometimes about a minute or so. It really depends on your internet connection. So you see a number of uh, books here. I can search for books that I want you can also uh, search so there's 25 books per page we have it on a default where there's uh, only 10 per page but you can do see that there are 3500 books available not too bad so let's uh, search for a book here something happened by Joseph Heller you can see that this book is not only available in EPUB format, but it's also available in Kindle format. On our YouTube channel, we have a number of video tutorials for uh, the Kindle 4, the Kindle Touch, and various other Kindle models. So if you want to learn how to borrow Kindle books, check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash a good e-reader. So we want to check out the Adobe EPUB book here. We've already you know, decided this is the book for us, so we're going to add it to our to-go cart. Now, you can either check out one book at once, or you could check out numerous books. It all depends on how many books you're allowed to check out per month or at once. So I, I just really want this one book. I'm going to click on Proceed to Checkout. Now, you see a number of options here. I can establish the loan period. I read books pretty fast, so I'm going to select seven days. It is Adobe EPUB, which is for use on mainly all devices other than just the Kindle and are compatible with Adobe Digital Editions. It also gives you some stats here. These are your limits. Some libraries allow you more, some less. It really is relative. So I have two checkouts remaining after this. I'm going to confirm the checkout. Now I've checked it out December 6th, it expires December 13th, and what I want to do now is I want to download this to my PC in order to transfer it to my Nook tablet. So I'm going to click download. Now what I recommend that you do is install Adobe Digital Editions first like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial. This way instead of just saving it to your computer, you can click open and then other and then search for Adobe Digital Editions. What I'm going to simply do is just save it to my desktop. Now you notice that when it's downloaded to my computer, it hasn't downloaded it in EPUB format, but it downloaded it in a weird format called ACSM. What does that mean? Well, it's just the OverDrive encrypted program. So here's the book that we downloaded. And what I'm going to do simply, I just can't drag and drop it to my device. I must use Adobe Digital Editions. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to select Open With, and I'm going to select Adobe Digital Editions. So here's the book I just downloaded. I'm going to click in the upper left hand corner to go to Library View. And here's the book. So you can see I have two books selected from the library. They have seven day loan periods. These books do not have a loan period because these are purchased books from other bookstores. Now, what I wanna do now is I wanna copy this to my Nook tablet. I wanna left click so I can drag it around. And if you notice beside uh, the arrow key, there's an X. That really means that I can't drop it. But once I highlight my Nook here, the X turns to green and it's officially copied over to my device. Now, the next step is to unplug your Nook tablet from your PC and then click on My Library and then select My Documents. 
then select Adobe Digital Editions, and then all of the books that you've borrowed from the library are have appeared there. And then you could um, add that to your main library shelf. You can uh, form a special library collection or any other way that you want to organize it. But basically, once you copy the device, uh, the book to your device, if you want to find it, it's not on your main library shelf, but you do have to click on Library, My Documents, Adobe Digital Editions, and then you can open up the book and uh, read it there. After seven days, the book will disappear from your device. Uh, once you have established a Wi-Fi connection and it will bounce back to the library if people have put holds on it they will now uh, the, it'll be available for them so hopefully this uh, tutorial has really helped you out uh, always with a goodie reader our intention is to provide you not only with the latest e reader news reviews previews and conference coverage but to also do a bunch of these video tutorials to really help everybody out there we recognize the fact that a lot of people are non-tech savvy this may be the first e reader or tablet that you've ever had and you know we like to make uh, life easy for you if you want to see any of our review videos on the Barnes & Noble Nook tablet, you can check out our YouTube channel again at youtube.com slash user slash goody reader. Uh, you could also read the full review as well as unboxings and full review on our blog at goodybeer.com slash blog. If you want to find it quickly, we do have a little icon here, review of the Nook tablet. Uh, on any page in our blog, you can click on there and then read our impressions. Uh, really, I like the Barnes & Noble Nook tablet. I thought, you know, as a second generation offering to the Nook Color, it is far superior in every way. So, uh, if you have it in your possession, you know what I'm talking about. And for goodyreader.com, my name is Marcus, and everybody, take care.